Hello, I'm Hephaestus Saga in the WUFT Newsroom. For Friday, October 24th, here's your news in 90. The Alachua County School Board is asking the state to delay the start of a new standardized test for public school students. The Florida Standards Assessment, or FSA, was approved last year to replace the FCAT, but it has not been field tested and county school officials worry that students might struggle without adequate prep time. An American doctor back from West Africa has tested positive for Ebola at a New York City hospital. Dr. Craig Spencer returned from Guinea on October 17th and began suffering from fever and fatigue. State and local leaders say they're following strict protocols to keep the public safe. The 23-year-old Maryland man who scaled the White House fence on Wednesday is behind bars. Dominic Adesanya appeared in federal court yesterday, charged with two felony counts for assaulting two police dogs and making threats. He's held without bail. New photos show smoke and flames rising from the Syrian city of Kobani following U.S.-led coalition airstrikes. U.S. officials say Kobani, which borders Turkey, appears to be in less danger of falling to ISIS militants, but the threat remains. The city is a focal point in the campaign against ISIS in Syria and Iraq. And another Hobbit-themed in-flight air safety video from Air New Zealand. The airline released this new video ahead of the final film in the Hobbit film trilogy, which hits theaters in December. It features actor Elijah Wood, who plays Frodo, and director Sir Peter Jackson. Air New Zealand's first safety video, inspired by the Hobbit films, attracted more than 12 million online views. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.